Hi everyone, this is Dr. Pavitra here. The latest question everybody has is, is COVID airborne or not? What is WHO saying? Why are so many people saying it's airborne and why are so many people saying it's droplet? Now, whether it's airborne or not is not the most important question for us regular lay person. That is, if you're not in the healthcare field, it doesn't make a big difference to you and me simply because the protection mechanism for you and for others does not change. You are still required to wear the mask when you go out. You are still required to maintain the same social distance. You are still required to avoid going out to prevent getting the infection. So this particular statement doesn't really affect us too much because this is what we can do at this point. The CDC recommendation for an airborne infection is please take the vaccine. We don't have the vaccine yet. Until the vaccine comes, we can only prevent the infection. And the way to prevent the infection remains the same. You wear the mask, you maintain the distance and you avoid going out. Again, I will come back to what kind of mask you need to wear. I see a lot of people investing in an N95 mask. The N95 mask is not something that you just buy from the local vendor. It needs to fit you properly and you need to wear it properly. If it doesn't fit, then you are not getting the full benefit of the N95 mask. So, you might and it is very uncomfortable to wear. Doctors will vouch for the fact that it is very uncomfortable to wear. So, what you can do is you wear your regular cloth mask. A single layer, double layer, triple layer cloth mask. That is more than sufficient for you because it is going to be much less expensive. You can have two or three that you can wash and use regularly. An N95 mask needs a special sterilization technique that we cannot do at home. So invest your money wisely. Use what is most effective and most beneficial for you. Stay safe and stay confident that you can avoid the infection by taking all the protection that you need to take. Don't focus too much on what, whether it is airborne, whether it is not airborne, whether it is droplet and things like that. Ultimately, your prevention mechanisms remain the same. Okay, take care.